I'm Ed, and you're watching Eerie Extreme. Today, we're going out fun fishing for a change. No challenge, going out right in the front yard, and we're going to catch walleyes. What's cool about today, we're catching them on something that we make, <laughs> and it's really easy and a lot of fun, so we figured we'd make a show out of it. That's what's coming up on Eerie Extreme. I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. So I've gathered up a few old friends, oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds, doing things we've never done before, going places we've never gone before. Yeah, baby! Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. This is Eerie, Eerie Extreme. <laughs> All right, so we're making our own worm harnesses of all things. We've been shopping around looking at some of the ones available and we don't think they're good enough. So we have teamed up with a couple of walleye experts who happen to make a very popular bait in Erie called the Water Puppet. It's Paul and Rich from Someday I'll Tackle and they know their stuff. We're doing it. Trouble hook on the back, BMC wacky hook on the front smelled. We are going to start making these suckers. Those are the very first ones. I'm no walleye guy, so Kirk from East End Angler took us out and showed us where they live. Our main goal is to figure out how to catch these walleyes when they're way out in deep water without trolling. What are you doing? <laughs> Catching a big one. Oh, look, it's a junk fish. <laughs> oh, man, we don't need that for that. <laughs> <The> walleye? <laughs> junk fish. <laughs> Although we figured out how to catch the walleyes on crankbaits when they're in shallow, these fish move out really, really deep. We need to be able to follow them out there, figure out how to catch them when they're suspended out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do it a time, boys. Do it a time. Fun, fun, fun. That's two limits of walleyes in 35 minutes. Catching them a lot faster than the charter boats catch them, I guarantee you that. They're still setting up their rods, and we're done. Going out in the front yard. And one thing about my front yard that I really like, never have to mow it. Yo, hey, what's going on? we're going to go fishing. We brought all the camera equipment. We're just now driving out of the driveway. Are you guys going to Sheets Beach? Yeah. Yeah, give me a half hour. I'll be there. Okie dokie. Uh, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. My job is usually just to run the drone but this time I'm going fishing. We're gonna go catch some walleyes on Lake Erie. It's not gonna be too long and we're gonna have some apple pie going on here, bud. Look at the apples. Well, we made it to Shades Beach. Mike's on his way, he's about 30 minutes out. So that gives us some time to get rigged up and get ready to get out there and catch some big walleyes. Looks nice. Yesterday they found the school trolling, and today we're gonna go out and catch them casting. Today is all about fine tuning, picking the right colors, and going over every single detail. We gotta call Kirk, he's already out here. Kirk knows what he's doing. He's out here trolling, he knows where the, where the walleyes are. So we need to get ourselves around the fish. Hey, we're out here, where are you at? Uh, really both its way out. Okay. okay. Bye. See ya. We'll never find them. Probably, it's probably like way out. That what color is his boat? <laughs> Red and white. That's him. That's him there. Need to run up on somebody if it's not him. Okay, we found him. <laughs> and, he, and he's got one. Oh, oh he I lost, lost it. it. No. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah. So they're in 40 to 45? Yeah, down that way. There's fish here. Where's the best spot? Straight in, 65. How many you got? Eight. He's got eight. Okay, let's go. Ready? So we're going out in search of a big school of walleyes. Supposedly, they're in that 65 foot range. Okay, so he got out here at 8.30, it's 11.30, that's three hours and he's only got eight. What our goal is is if we can catch more than him. 
So look, here's what we're doing. See how it just came up? As soon as this drops, we're gonna just hit a bunch of waypoints and try to stay on a line. But those are all minnows, they're emerald shiners. Whoa, there's walleyes. So the, the, the walleyes are always like right below the bait. There's another one. There's a big one there. There's another couple. We're gonna try it here. Everybody always says walleyes fight like a plastic bag or a wet sock or something like that. Yeah, when you're trolling, they do. You hook them, take, by the time you get the rod out of the holder, the walleye's twirling on the surface back there and you just reel them in. I wanna come out here and cast and catch them. I wanna feel the, the fish bite it. It's so cool. Here's what we're doing. This is a one ounce tungsten weight. It's smaller, but heavier, way heavier and way smaller than lead. Uh, we're putting a bead on there to protect your knot, which is tied to a swivel. And then here is the rig that we're making. So what we have is a four to five foot leader. We've been testing this for a week and the shorter you go, the less bites you're gonna get, especially in clear water. And we're talking about Lake Erie. This is something special with our rig as well. To making this thing rattle is we're putting one bead on the top. We're making it so that you can slide it up and down your line, which makes it so that there is a stopper so that these blades can bang together. You can hear the rattle and that's huge underwater. It also aids you in the cast. Your whole rig isn't sliding way up your line. The last component is the Senko. That is the official rock lizard. And there's walleyes under the boat. Cast number one. To bore you with more talking, which we don't usually do on this show. We never get technical on this show, so we can do it once, right? So I counted that down to 20 and I'm just reeling it real steady to the boat. Ooh, got one. Yes. Let's see if it's a walleye. Please support our Erie Extreme partners. Marquette Savings Bank. We create website design and marketing. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online. Bentley Tree Care. East End Angler. Palmero Toyota. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Driscoll Tax and Accounting, R.W. Petruso Hearing and Audiology, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. This episode is sponsored in part by Someday I'll Tackle. What's under your bobber? Oh, that's a big fit. Oh, that's a big bass. Dude, that's a big one. They just follow me around. We're walleye fishing. That's a big one, Nate. Like, huge. Five plus, five and a half, six pounder. Small mouth. Here it comes. So just take your time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know we're walleye fishing, right? It's a big one. Walleyes, Nate. Walleyes. Well, I bet he slammed it when he bit it. Yeah, I bit pretty hard. Come to a bass spot and catch a bass. There's one. Nice. Now I think that's gonna be a sheep. <laughs> All of a sudden. Oh, mine got off. Did it really? Yeah. If this is a walleye, it's huge, but it hasn't done the sheep head thing yet. Ooh, he's back. <laughs> that must be a bass. What is it? I don't know. No, I think mine's a sheep head. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ooh, it's a walleye. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that sucker. That's what we're after. Ah, oh, nice one, Nate. And we got another bite. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Nate, how far did you let that sink? 17. So that's the deal, just trying to figure out what depth and what speed. That was weird, he bit twice? Yeah, he got off and then... Or there must have been a couple of them swimming with it, maybe. Maybe. After today, we'll have a really good idea what colors we need to be focusing on. I guarantee you pink is one of them now. All right, trying different colors. Nate got... Lots of bites on the pink one right off the bat, so. Gold is going bye-bye. Bye-bye. What, what would you want to try? Um, what about chartreuse? With a I'll try it. You think that'll work? I'll try it. Try it? Okay. Blue's not really working it currently. Oh, this is such a good uh, place to try different colors. This one's going to Mike. Chartreuse and gold. Okay, here we go. Got one. Wow, Nate's hooked up again. No, they it's swing a walleye. Right. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
There's one at 30. Got one. Missed him. He bit it twice. Missed him. Come on. How did I miss him three times? There's one. Got one. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, this is a big one. Big fish. Big eye. There you go, bud. Voila. Okay, we put a waypoint. Let's catch another one. I was marking him when I caught that one, so. We're on them now, boys. Oh, yeah, bud. Pink and purple. There's another one. Got one. This is a really big one. Oh, yeah. Super heavy. Look at that sucker. It's not giant. It's just a good one. He's hooked in the front hook. He ate it. Voila, right on the waypoint. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I just counted to 21 for some stupid reason. Just to, talk, just to go to a dumb number. There's another one, lost him. What do you think about that? 21. Oh, one bit it again. Dang it, he bit it twice. Can 21 be the magic number? I've counted to 21 twice today. Got a bite both times. Is that weird? There, another one. Three times. That is weird, isn't it? Three casts, three bites. It's loaded. Got one. Come on, bud. Oh my God, he came right out. Nice. Oh, got off too. Got him. <laughs> nice. Okay, my turn. Oh my gosh, it's so loaded here. Spanking them now. Oh my gosh, there's like six of them under the boat. Look at all them suckers down there. Man, there's fish constantly down there now. We're on them now. Oh, I just missed another one. Dang it. Got him. Oh, I missed him. Got him. He bit it again. A lot of fish here. He bit it again when I missed him. Real quick, like close to the boat, too. Dang it. Yeah. That one, a little though. That's decent. Nice. Very nice. You got him, so bud. Fun. There's one. Got him. Oh, this is so fun. This is a big one. Big bash. Get big one. Ten pounder. I just got him with the little treble. Yeah. That's seven. There are so many fish here. Go to 21 and reel it super slow. No worms, baby. This is a good school here, man. I just missed another one. Got one. Missed him again. Come on. Got one. Man, he's a good one. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Got on. Yeah. Did feel like a good one? Yeah, it definitely did. Dang it. He choked it from behind too. It's weird that he got off. I felt like he had it swallowed. It was just such a slack line bite. Dang it, that sucks. That sucker hit it like a freight train. Ooh. Get a bite? Yeah. Is that another bite? Yeah. Got one. Yeah. Got him. Got a double. Oh man. You got him? Yeah. Oh, wow. It came off, dude. Man, this is awesome. Yeah, and he hasn't even caught one yet. Wow. Not the biggest ones, but that was cool as heck. That one bit right at the boat. Mine. He's hooked with both hooks. I've been trolling a long time, and I've had my fair share of worm harnesses, but it's definitely not just a regular worm harness. No kidding. It's a freaking rock lizard. Yeah, buddy. Rock Lizard. <laughs> Rock lizard. Nice. Nice. nice one. Yeah, buddy. How many we got in there? Nine. Like, if you miss one, you should probably jerk it at real hard and then start reeling again instead of just reeling. The last couple I've had, I've jerked and missed them and then started reeling again and then they hit it. Got one. Oh yeah, Mike's in the game now. I got a tank. Here 
come. Coming up. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's about time. Oh, yeah, bud. Nice one. Yep. He hit right at the bottom. <laughs> that's the color. That purple. Yep. Oh, so fun. So fun. Pounding the eyes, baby. We're pounding some quality eyes on the rock lizard. Rock lizard. Rock lizard. What are we in an echo chamber? Rock lizard. Cinnamon purple. Cinnamon purple. Yeah, I think Mike found his favorite color. God, he's got one. That's on that purple one again? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Come on, buddy. <laughs> awesome. That was cool. Thank you, walleye. There it is. You've seen it here. How many is that now? 13? I think he's been. 10, 11. 12. 12? Oh. Two limits. One more limit. Allowed in the boat. Oh, got one. I was, I was like right under the boat too. Here he comes. Got him. Nice. Got him. 13. Four inch Senko is walleye candy. One in the nose, one in the butt. Yeah. That's a big one. I can't pull him up. Time, but he's a fighter. He's not even that huge. I know, but he was a fighter. Another one on the old purple one. Party. 14. They all feel big, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I can't tell. Oh, God. Who says walleyes don't fight? It's a sheep. Yeah, buddy. That's uh, white copper. They like that. They do like that. <laughs> that was my first cast with that. First cast. <laughs> well, we found a winner. Voila. Yeah, we definitely found a winner. Two winners. You got one? I guess he found his favorite color. I started out slow, but now I'm slaying him. I see, ooh, it is a nice one. Yeah, that's a big one. Don't get off. Yeah, that's a good one. Purple again, boys. Purple again. Ooh, got one. Limit. That's the limit right there, right? Nice. You need a net. Look at this. <laughs> That's not even a keeper. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. One more and get the heck out of here, we think. Sounds good. My arms are sore. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Uh oh. Had a bite. Did you have a bite? Yeah. <laughs> it's just insane. We're gonna catch the last one. The wind totally switched direction. Oh, I missed him. Oh, got one. 
There he is. You got one? Yeah. Is it a big one? Mm. Could be. This is it. Last Ugh. fish of the day. Good job, Uncle Googie. Cookie monstrosity. <laughs> I'm gonna yak attack his butt right here and now. Come on, come on. You in there? Yeah. Well, that's it. We had fun. We had fun. Where are we selling these at, Nate? East End Angler. East End Angler. Go buy you some rock lizards and catch some rock lizards on them. Yeah! He's gonna go quick. Oh. They always get you. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch one. I think we're gonna catch one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Got one. It is almost impossible to quit when you're catching them like this. So fun. Now that was a walleye whack fest. So fun. Yeah, buddy. Nice. What a day. One more. Got one. Unbelievable. Oh, this feels like a giant. No, nope, it's just another good one. They're all good ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you talk about fun. Was that fun? That was awesome. Is that better than trolling? That's way better than trolling. I'm I mean, it's cool because you can feel these suckers. I mean, you feel them bite it. Every time we've been out here catching them, they bite like two or three times before you hook them. It's pretty cool. They kind of like track it and smell it or whatever. But a lot of those old timers were telling me that night crawlers were the deal. They, they follow it and they smell it. But uh, I think we're proving them, proving them wrong. Senko. Nice one. Nice one. Thanks for coming. Yeah, buds. Yeah! Let's head to the house. That was just incredible. Big thanks to Mike, Jazzy, and everybody who helped us out with the Rock Lizard. Special thanks to Kirk Radzinski from East End Angler for everything that he does and letting us clean the fish at his shop. The Rock Lizard must be good because I think it's safe to say we caught more than Kirk. And that's saying something. See you next week.